People are becoming numb. This is like, even when they hear a great DJ, it's almost hard for them to understand it. I think it's difficult for them to distinguish. That's the point. The point is, it's like you got a guy and he'll just throw in records that they know and with no craftsmanship at all. And then you got a guy who actually digs, really lives the music, but he makes it work and he tells a story. It's almost like if I just went out and started playing basketball. Yeah. This dude been playing since he was a kid and because I got a popping album, they put me on the team. <laughs> First draft. The NBA draft does kind of work like that too. Like you have cats with this ridiculous wingspans and supposedly awesome athleticism that can't shoot a free throw, never had any formal basketball training, never played competitive ball entire in their entire life, but they just have the right supposedly physical action. I guess that's the Manu Bowl theory. I don't know. Did Manu Bowl can Manu Bowl play when he came in the league or was he just tall? I think the number one for lack of a better word, and disease for people, if not black people, is the word cool. Yeah. Cool is what his partner language has fucked up a lot of people. Not drugs, not money, not women. It's cool that it's the inspiration to get you to the drugs, bad women, if you're trying to get fast money. Were you like the coolest nerd Man, and the I'm, least coolest I mean, I, I, and again, I'm j I guess I'm just a, I'm just a dude. Man. I'm not like cool and I'm not, I mean, I, I, get, I am cool because I don't give a fuck about being cool. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do, how I'm gonna do it. I don't rush to everything, who such and such is doing it. I don't care about all that, man. Mm -hmm. if you like my music? How's my performance? Yeah. You know? Am I a fulfilling the purpose of why I'm here? It's difficult to remain as passionate about what you're doing when what you're doing is very different from what drew you to it. It's not different. Ain't nothing changed, but it has changed. It's evolved. Everybody has their lane, like case of point stuff they play on the radio. I used to be out, oh, man, that shit is whack. And da, 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 da. And I was like, then I had to realize, no, nah, man, that's their lane. July 14th, 2011, the DJ. Yeah. For people who aren't familiar, what can they expect? They expect the unexpected. And the people who aren't familiar, expect the unfamiliar and expect the familiar to be unfamiliar, right? <laughs> <laughs> in fact, that could be flip, uh, pimp yeah. to be in the now. <laughs> right. I'm going to come with vinyl, possibly CDs, cassette, HR tape. <laughs> nah, I'm playing. What so surprises you about hip hop? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. I know what it's going to do two days before it does, two years before it. I mean, hip hop basically put a president in the White House. But Michael Jackson did too, though. People say, like, what the hell are you talking about? What I'm saying is if it wasn't for his talent being a, uh, a, a accessible and acceptable to mainstream America, that makes it easier for them to say, oh, look at this uh, intelligent, well-spoken black man. Say he wants to run for president. You know, I love Billy Jean, so, no, nah, but my point, that's the point. And then it just grows, because now you got a president, and it's great, because now you got more beautiful white girls that want to fuck black guys, because we got a black president. That's a great thing. <laughs> <laughs> and then we all just gonna be calm and colored, and fuck it, with big asses and big ass dicks, so. <laughs> I'm playing, man. Yes, sir, man. I, enjoyed this I very appreciate much. you, man. I appreciate you.